Can I winterize my sprinkler system by myself? This is a super popular question. We've been getting it a lot this fall here at Sprinkler Supply Store, and I wanna provide you with the answer. The answer is yes, you can, but no, you should not. Now let me explain. <laughs> Winterizing your system is not particularly difficult. There's a few rules of thumb. You could totally do it. However, most people don't own the type of equipment necessary to blow out the system. Just because you're using compressed air does not mean that a compressor like one of these guys, these guys, these guys <laughs> is going to work for you. This does not produce enough volume of air to flush out the pipes on your system, okay? These types of compressors do produce lots of pressure, but it is not pressure that winterizes your system, okay? Let me, let me say that again. It is not pressure that winterizes your system, and this is where most people get it wrong. You only need 50 pounds of pressure, no more than 80 pounds of pressure, but you need volume. You need anywhere from 50 to 80 or more CFM in order to flush the lines out. So the compressor that you have in your garage, like I just showed you, will not work. Don't try to do it at home. The type of compressor that you need looks a little bit more like this, okay? You tow it behind your truck. It's big. It's also expensive to rent for a day. Prices can range anywhere from $150 to $200 or more per day to rent a piece of equipment like this. So if your sprinkler contractor quotes you $100 to blow out your system, it is less than if you simply rented the equipment. So don't do it pay the professional to winterize your system. Not only is it, are you going to save money, it is going to be done properly. And that is one of the main reasons to hire someone to do it. You don't wanna damage your system. These guys are in and out in you know, 30 minutes. Well, I should say it depends on the size of your system. If you've got 125 zones, it'll take a while. But most residential systems anyway have anywhere from four to 18 zones. And these guys are in and out in less than an hour. And it is a great, great investment. So again, a couple things. Number one, do not use your garage compressor that you either use for your pneumatic tools or to pump up your tires. Don't use it. It may have the right pressure, but it is not going to have the volume of air required to blow out the system, okay? Then number two, it is not pressure, right? It is volume. So if you are going to do this yourself, let's say you're gonna rent that compressor and you're gonna knock out five of your friends' systems. It's probably the best thing to do, right? Spread that $150, $200 cost amongst five of your friends. Sure, go ahead and do it. Just make sure you don't run that thing over no more than 80 PSI. I'll put a link in this video to a winterization guide by Hunter Industries. It'll tell you everything you need to know about best practices for winterizing your system. I'm making this video to answer your questions so that if you have a compressor in your garage, it is not the same type of compressor that you need to winterize your system. So hope that helps. I would love to hear from you down in the comments below. Have you rented a compressor before? Do you blow out your own sprinklers? Do you blow out your neighbor's sprinklers? Or do you make the smart choice and hire a professional? That's my recommendation. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.